Okay, this news, Xi Jinping's inner circle is getting even tighter with powerful new chief of staff. The new chief of staff of China's president, Xi Jinping, is likely to make the office even more powerful, reflecting Xi's long-held views on the importance of such positions and the centralization of power at the top of the party observers. Kai Ki, the director of what is officially known as the General Office of the Communist Party Central Committee, one of the most powerful offices in China, is the highest rank of to head the office. The office wields a great deal of influence because it is responsible for arranging the paperwork, meetings, and personal security of the country leaders. But located far from the public eye inside the Songjian Yi leadership compound, it is also one of the party's most secretive organs. One of the rare moments it emerges from the shadows is during domestic and international trips by the Communist Party. When the Sai went to Moscow on the first international trip, third presidential term last month, Kai, who was part of his entourage, was referring to his chief of staff. Kao also serves as head of the president's general office in addition to his party group. It was not news to him. Donald Trump slams criminal charges as insult to our country. Okay, Donald Trump offered a full throat the defense of his conduct on Tuesday in his first public remark since being charged over harsh money payments to a porn star blasting the criminal as an insult to our country. Hours earlier, the 76-year-old former U.S. president pleaded not guilty to the felony counts in a dramatic hearing in a New York that transfixed the nation and began the countdown to the first ever criminal trial on American president. I never thought anything like this could happen in America. Never thought it could happen, Trump told an audience of several hundred stunners, political allies, and other supporters after returning to more alive while his rich fight in South Florida. The only crime that I've committed is to fearlessly defend our nation from those who seek to destroy it. It's an assault to our country. Trump, the front runner in the race of 2024 Republican nomination, said from a stage festooned with American flags in an alcohol and cream ballroom that radical black prosecutors across the country were out to get him at any cost. Okay, another news for you as House Speaker McCarthy, the Taiwan's President Chai visit marks historic first. The moment will be historic, a U.S. House Speaker meeting with the President of Taiwan for a rare visit on American soil, a high-profile encounter designed to boost support for the island government but already throwing blow back from an enraged China. For Taiwanese President Chai Ling Min, the meeting with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in California is the most sensitive stop on our transit with the U.S. and Central America, a worldwide diplomatic mission that is delicate, secretive, and politically fraught. But for the newly elected House Speaker, it is start of his foray into foreign affairs, the Republican leader had focused more on domestic politics. On home, the international concerns were brought out, so can even bellicose well against China, McCarthy said, potentially provocative nod of support to Taiwan with a meeting.